For those of you watching on YouTube, I also post my videos on these sites. I hope you'll come join me. Embrace the YouTube alternatives and all tech. Hello everyone, I'm Nathan, and welcome to The Walking Dead. Let's play. All right, so this is my final session with this uh, tonight because I'm going to be doing both episodes three and four. Uh, now, of course, in the video version of this, this will be sliced up into several parts. Uh, I think the first episode was sliced up into about six parts or so. Uh, yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, without further ado, here's episode three, Broken Toys. Also, before I proceed, um... Uh, at, when this game is over, um... Now, no spoilers for me, because I don't want any spoilers, but if by chance... Clementine dies at the end of this series, I'm going to immediately look up if there's an ending where she survives. And uh, if if there is, and I don't succeed at doing that, then I'm going to do another playthrough of this. Um, probably the way I would do it is I'd probably do like each, ep each episode as one video. To, and, you know, as, as the save Clementine playthrough. But anyway... Broken Toys, Episode 3. Here we go. Previously on The Walking Dead. Oh yeah, While a little comic thing. a place to call home, AJ and I found an old boarding school run by kids deep in the forest. Their leader was a guy named Marlin. And AJ pulled the trigger. I told AJ that what he'd done was murder, that he'd have to atone for it. The other kids agreed. They voted to kick us out. I thought we'd never return. Then, AJ and I were attacked by Abel, one of the raiders Marlin had given the twins to. He was with someone I thought I'd never see again. Lily. We were almost eaten by walkers, when suddenly, one of them spoke to me. His name was James, an ex-whisperer who didn't believe in killing walkers. He helped me treat AJ, but without real medicine, he wouldn't make it. The kids didn't turn away the sad sight of AJ and let us back inside. After I told them how we could defend the school against the raiders, they were willing to let us stay, at least until the fight. I decided to help Violet in the bell tower. We looked at the stars together. Violet is a great friend. Those are rare. Then the raiders finally came. They busted open our gates, but the kids stayed hidden as planned. Until Ten ran out of cover, hoping for a chance to learn about his missing sisters. The bomb went off, and attempting to save Ten, Mitch threw himself at Lily and got a knife to the throat. With only a second to decide, I fired and saved Violet. They got away with three of our friends, and we had no idea where they'd gone. But we knew someone who did. Oh yeah, that's right. That's how it, it ended off. So we gotta interrogate this little motherfucker. This little rodent. We go, we go make this rodent sing. <laughs> yeah, I, I really do like how they do the, the previously sequences. They, I, I like the art style. It's, it's very well done. I mean, I know it's basically screenshots and Photoshop filters, but it looks good. Come on. Come on! Oh, they're building the tension. Ugh, come on. <laughs> hmm. I'm wondering if I want to... I wonder if I want to be nice to him to get him to speak, or if I want to beat the shit out of him to get him to speak. Oh no! Wait, are we do are we doing it from his perspective? Oh no! Okay. Bitch. 
<laughs> yeah, Mitch turned out to be okay in the end, but... Man. At the start, I was so little. And... And Mitch looked after me. People said he was a dick sometimes. But he was always nice to me. Oh, man. Now he's gone. He wants you to go on, uh, try yeah, to pull yourself together. We'll get revenge. I promise. Yeah. Look, I promise you, Willie. The people who did this, we're going to hit them back. They're gonna regret ever coming near us. If Mitch were here, he wouldn't cry. He'd find a way to get our friends back. And bash Lily's brains out with a rock. Hey, AJ's waiting for you in the basement. We got Abel tied up tight. He's alive, but he's out cold. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, he, he bled out. I'm sure he bled out a lot, so. It's time. I don't think Ten should be there. You're the reason he's dead. Whoa, Willie, Willie's fuck true. off. We had a plan and that idiot messed it up. Come on, Willie. None of this is Ten's fault. You know who's really to blame. I can't believe you're defending him. This does this bullshit. Ten. I'll take care of this. Talk to Abel, find out where Lily took Lewis, Omar, and a sim. And Clem, don't be afraid to, you know, hurt him a little. Maybe you'll get more out of him than we did. Yeah, no kidding. And geez, let, like, play the fuck off, Willie. Like, come on. Fuck. I mean, I, I mean, obviously he's having an emotional outburst, but shit, man. No, I can't let that fly. All right. Oh, oh yeah. I might get Rose. I might get uh, Rosie to help me out. You're a good girl, aren't you? You're a good girl, aren't you? Ah, <laughs> uh, it's like we got any fucking tools in here? I mean, like, take school pennant. Oh, it's like a collectible. Well, yeah, I suppose. It's kind of a weird thing to want to collect, but why not? Okay, yeah, I want to look for any prompts that might help me. Duct tape. This should be strong enough to hold them. But a little more wouldn't hurt. A little more wouldn't fucking hurt. Oh, man. Brody. Poor Brody. Hey, Rosie. Good girl. Who's a good girl? Rosie, Rosie, Rosie. She's my dog now. Oh, wow. Best girl. <laughs> Rosie. Got your gun back, huh? Uh-huh. Don't kill him preemptively, AJ. He does not seem tied up that tight, to be honest. Ready? Maybe we should, maybe we should tie him up some more. Slap him. Uh, drench him. Sh uh... I uh, drench him. Sure. Sure, yeah, we'll start with that. <coughs> what the fuck? Well, that ain't no way to wake an old man up from his afternoon nap. <laughs> I was having a nice dream, too. About a girl I used to know. From before. She also had me tied up, but I wasn't her prisoner if you get my meaning. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he's funny. <laughs> you got any water? 
other than what you already dumped on me. I mean, drink. Hmm. Let Abel drink. <laughs> we'll start nice, and if he gets lippy, we'll get Leave not so water. nice. Now it's time to talk. It's the first time interrogating someone, isn't it? <laughs> you let me dictate the agenda. Makes me think you're weak. Don't make this harder than it needs to be, okay? I just want to know where Lily took my people. It doesn't matter. As soon as she gets there, she's going to turn around and come right back for me. <laughs> you better give me the five-star treatment. Yeah, you're... I'm smiling when she gets here. You might be able to trade me for a little mercy. Yeah, let's sick Rosie on him. You aren't gonna do that. You yeah, I fucking am. Oh, yeah? Just tell us where they took our friends so we can get them back. <laughs> Lily will never give him up. Oh, that's a rat. The reason we came here was for more manpower. We're losing Jonathan and me. Three sprouts that can barely hold a gun. Even a dummy like me can do the math on that one. We're gonna get him back. You don't know what it's like out there. It's a bloodbath. One community against another. From Richmond to the coast. Back at the Delta, we're at war. Some really sick fucks who make me look like the Virgin Mary. Ooh. We need people to fight it. Soldiers who do what we say, point the guns the way we tell them to. That's called Those kidnapping. It's supposed to be easy pickings. That's called kidnapping. Give it whatever name you want. I call it survival. What kind of place is this Delta if they use forced labor to defend it? You think we like doing raids like this? I think you do, actually. It's a good home. Built to last. I'd do a lot to protect it. Maybe you can understand that. And I do a lot to get my friends back. So stop wasting my time. Okay. Oh, he'll talk. The answer to all your questions. Front pocket. Read it. Whatsoever parteth the hoof, and is cloven-footed, and cheweth the cud, among the beasts, that shall ye eat? What the fuck? Is this code? No, it's fucking Leviticus. I was hoping it'd be some timely, moralistic shit about turning the other cheek. <laughs> well, come on. That thing ain't gonna light itself. Wanna know where your friends are? The smoke will clear my mind. Yeah, all right. All right. Help me remember stuff. Like where Lily went. Burn him? Or on, let him have a smoke? Now that is heavenly. <coughs> now talk. No more pleasures. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh no. That's a lot of blood. Was that a suicide thing? This is not good. What what the fuck? He's gonna die, isn't he? Wait. Patch him up. Uh, I thought you wanted this. Isn't that what you wanted? I did, but you're gonna get your wish. When you push me off that balcony, something must have burst inside of me. Oh, shit. I thought maybe it was like a suicide shit. cigarette or something. I never wanted things to end like this. Everything. It all got out of hand. Now look at me. I'm a fucking mess. Will he turn? No. <laughs> My, my whole life, everything I ever got, I got with my own two hands and my will for 
my body, the dirt on me, to take control. I'll tell you where to find Lily. Just promise. You won't let me turn. Jeez. Let him sweat. Give him your word. If you're honest with me, I'll put you out of your misery. You have my word. Okay, we have a boat. We're docked a few miles west of here at an old fishing pier. Your friends are on the boat. <laughs> you, you got what you wanted. Please, don't let me become one of those things. Jeez, I actually feel bad for him. Please. Let him turn. turn. Mercy kill. <laughs> yeah. Not that. Huh? Let me keep my face. What? Uh, I want you to see this. You don't have to watch. You don't need to watch this. I want to. He's gonna pull a fast one, I think. Uh, okay. Or not. At least you can't hurt anyone anymore. Yeah. You just tortured a man in front of him. <sighs> I asked him to look away. <laughs> Come on, we have a boat to find. That's gonna fuck a kid up, man. Stop looking, AJ. Oh god. Oh god. Oh jeez. Wow, I actually started feeling bad for the guy there at the end. Like, I was starting to believe him when he said that he didn't want things to turn out this way. Yeah, I, I mean, that's possible. It's possible he was being honest about that, especially if he thought he was dying. What reason would he have to? What reason would he have to lie? Hmm. And I'm also <laughs> a little worried about their war. He described the, this other town as being a bunch of sick fucks, so. Shit, man. Well, since I feel bad for him, I will avenge the good man that maybe he once was by getting my friends back. By good man he once was, I mean, like, before all this shit happened. Before all the Walking Dead stuff. That was fun, but I'll have to pause it there. If you enjoy my content and want to see more, do some of the stuff that the screen is telling you. For more videos and live streams, I do both of those on several different platforms. Links to that and more in the description. That is it for this episode, and I will see you in the next game.